welcome back. We are here for episode 10 of my Dead Space Let's Play. Um, this should be coming out on the 5th of February, which will be the day Dead Space 3 comes out. Um, hopefully I'm going to continue to finish this Let's Play, or at least I will for sure. Um, and then I'll just release a video throughout the days, um, even though I am still doing a Dead Space 3 Let's Play. So you guys can still get your fix on the Dead Space 1 if you prefer it. No good. That shuttle's brain dead. Someone removed the navigation cards. God knows why. There's three of them scattered around the deck. I'm downloading their locations. I can't access the doors from here, so you'll need a crew key. If you can find those parts, I think we can get that shuttle operational again. Alright, so there's three parts around here that we have to pick up. Um, I don't know what she was saying about parts and some stuff, but it looks like we need a key to get some stuff, and then we're going to unlock some stuff and open some things and stuff and things and catch some boots and cats. So we are going to continue on through here. Isaac is breathing rather difficultly, with rather difficulty, I should say. Looks like there is some sort of, like, terrorist movement going on. I sort of feel like I should read this, but it's definitely in a different language, so that's a twist. What a twist. Uh, but enough of that garbage. Let's see where we have to go. So it wants us to go up the elevator. Uh, this is the sleep block C. Let me just see if I if there's like a dead end sort of deal. It does not look like it. So yeah, okay. So let's leave. Just dip. And then I'm going to grab some shit at the stove. <sighs> so let's see what we got up in here. How many credits? 67,000. I don't know how. I can't talk, but I seem to just be bereft of colorful commentary at this moment in time. So let me just take a look here. Inventory. Let's see. Diamond. Ooh. That's actually, like, giving me a little bit of a boner. So now we have 32,000. I don't even know what to do with myself. I feel like, oh shit, no! That was the wrong thing to do with myself. Um, probably the worst possible thing, actually. I should probably just kill myself. So, God damn it, okay. I wish I could use the analog stick instead of the stupid D-pad. I hate D-pads on the Xbox, they're terrible. I don't know why they make it all one button. They should just do it like the PS3 and make it different weapons. Buttons, God. So I could buy some power nodes for 10 grand. I'm taking forever to do this stuff, so bear with me here. I'm just being an idiot. Uh, let's just buy a shit ton of this stuff. Boom. Contact beam. I could buy the ripper. Force gun. Um, short range. Heavy damage. Let's do heavy damage. All right, so now we have a fourth gun. I would, I would assume, beautiful. All right, does this have an alternate fire? Oh, it's this shit. Okay, I thought I already had that. I thought this was that. Okay, whatever. No, no, no God, what the hell? Worst elevator ever. Jesus. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Get off, get off, get off, jump. Okay. Uh, I don't need to save yet. Hopefully we will come back that way though. I think there's a power bench down there and this looks like uh, I think I've already been on that section. Let me pick up whatever this was. Find the crew. Find the navigational key cards. Alright, so we gotta find some key cards. Uh, let me just see how many power nodes I have. I think I have zero. In which case, maybe- oh! Alright, I'll take it. Let's upgrade my rig. Ciao. Um, air still isn't a problem for me. I feel like I might get bit in the booty a little bit later here, but uh, not my problem. Let's go ahead and do damage on this sucker. Uh, yeah. And then we can do damage. I'm pointing to it on my screen, which isn't going to help, but... We can do the damage that's up here next, which will be awesome. All right, so now we're fully upgraded to the max, sort of. I'm going to just heal real quick. Oh. 
I really don't have any health, but I have a lot of ammo for my pistol. 119 shots is pretty good. All right, so we got some story development. I'll let you guys listen. When all must seem so utterly hopeless around me. Dr. Cross was a true believer. She had faith. And now she awaits her transformation. A rebirth. Are you ready to ascend, Mr. Temple? Of course you are. Have no fear. You will play your part soon enough. Witness the conviction. All right, so that guy is clearly crazy, or maybe we're the ones that are crazy. <laughs> no, he's crazy. Um, yeah, so he definitely just wants everyone on this ship to die, which I'm not really cool with. Looks like we're still waiting for a little bit of a cutscene, so I'm gonna check back on this guy. I mean, we should be able to just go. Okay, yeah, there we go. So we are going in here, residential lobby. I like the little house they have up there, like the little symbol that they put up there just for kicks on Route 66. Okay. Uh, shit, I got hit by one of those fuckers. No fucking way. Alright, so we're gonna take off these tentacles if we can. Oh shit, there's actually a hell of a lot of people. Reload, 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 reload. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, I don't have all day, son of a bitch. Cock sucker. Take out these motherfucking tentacles so I can leave. I'm gonna get killed here. Alright, so let's do a little Call of Duty uh, cover and shoot here. Maybe I can head glitch these sons of bitches. Nope, I'm just horrible aiming. God, I feel like I'm in the binding of Isaac and I just can't dodge the fucking ants. Or spiders, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so now that everybody's self-destructed, I'm totally going the wrong way, so I think I'm just going to head back and continue on with the actual mission that was appointed to us at this moment in time, which I probably shouldn't have gone this way in the first place, and I'm medium regretting it. Medium to, like, a lot. But, what are you going to do? Don't look back. Don't stop believing. Alright, definitely worried on the health front of things. I almost, almost want to run all the way back to that store and grab some health. Because this could be a pain in my anus if I don't do this very well. But, nonetheless, we shall continue and proceed to get murdered by some of these faggots. I'm going to take out this thing because it's definitely better for this sort of fight. Quickly reload before any fuckers get up here. <laughs> kind of hoping that there's like a small med pack. Alright, so this guy is definitely about to break through this shit. Maybe not. Quick. Find the way around the stupid table. Get around the table, you horrible waiter. Boom. Beautiful. Medium med pack. Alright, he's coming in. I think. I would hope so. Otherwise, he's just stupid. Alright, well, we'll just ignore him for now. Pick up some stuff that I don't even know what it is. It looks like we're going down into the depths. We shall see what is down here for us. Looks like a serious amount of enemies, so we're just going to stasis this guy. And let's go ahead and stasis him too. Nope, that didn't stasis him at all. Get the fuck away. Holy garbage, man. No, 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 no. Nope, nope. Legs die. Kill all the things on the screen. Jesus, nothing should be moving. Get me out of here, please. Jesus. Hey, Zeus, my Mexican gardener, come on. No! God damn. Stop it. Alright, is that good enough for you? Like, Jesus Christ. No. I didn't even damage, like, half of them. Okay. I don't like the ones with the heads, so... 
Uh, come on, come on, come on. I don't fucking want to do this shit right now. Get off me, you head rapper, chicken fuck, cock. At least I killed him. Jesus. Alright. So I was definitely about to die there if I didn't fucking... Uh, I might actually just die. Anyway. Come on. Get off of me. <laughs> I'm so about to die. Okay, pistol time. Oh my god, I'm so horrible at aiming. Jesus. Ah! Stop it. Stop it. Horrible. I feel like there's more. Come at me, bro. Jesus, that was awful. <laughs> I lost all of my health on these little fuckers. Because they take so much damage. Please give me a health pack. I'll take that right now. Please tell me I just like picked up like seven without even knowing. Alright, so I already went through a good amount of my health and my ammo. Which is not cool. It's the opposite. Oh, yes. I'll take it. Give me those. Not a good sign to be picking up health and needing to use it right away. Not how you want to go through life. Picking up money and spending it as you get it. You would like to save at least 10%. Put it in a trust fund, bank account, whatever you see fit. Or financially stable at least. Hey sweet. Picked up a key node thing. So I bet you we're going to just go back up the elevator. Do a little backtracking, you know? Just just a little bit. Just just head on up. See what's good. All right. Hopefully this elevator doesn't shaft us. Good. So let's continue on. Now, be careful, Raylo. Mr. Clark. Oh shit. I really must speak with you. I'm very close to your position and and I know you want to hear what I have to say. I can explain all this. So what happened? When you have the math cards, I'll let you into the security station. We must talk. Hurry. I was gonna say, be careful of that fucker that had that bulbous arm coming after me, because I feel like he's probably about to just be like, nah, bitch, and then blow me up. So let's just go through here. Hopefully I won't have to fight these boogers. But maybe I will. No, good. Alright, so I'm not like terribly disappointed in myself for doing that. Looks like we're gonna go into the women's restroom here and just get a little peepsies in. No one in here. Alright. Well, what are you gonna do? This isn't uh, Pork House or whatever that movie is called. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where I'm going with this, so I'm just gonna stop, give a little bit of an awkward silence, and continue on. Alright, so this door is locked. Uh, I guess I can just hack it. I guess that's the one perk of being an engineer. His hacking only works sometimes, but when it does work, it works incredibly well. Seems like he would get stuck on, like, something. But, I guess we will never know the secret to his hacking ability or his computer nerdness, so let's continue through into the first commons, or at least alpha. For those of you that know the military alphabet. system and sleep lock has been shut down. You'll have to find an override nearby to get through the door. Alright, I really would like to have a store. Please. I thought there was a store up in this bitch. Clearly, I was mistaken. Anyway, let's just save. Because I really don't have very much health. And, uh... That's not good. So, we're gonna override. And then we'll continue on. Press through. See see what goes down. Okay. Uh, here we go. Map. Not at all what I was looking for. Not what I was looking for either. This is what I wanted. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna go through to the bunks. Bunks. Sounds like a hood area. Okay. Jesus Christ. What gun do I have out? Please tell me it's loaded. Uh, no. Oh yeah. Come on. 
Yeah. Nope. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. I like how it just turns like semi invisible. It's like transparent. Which always confused me because I always thought opaque was transparent, but it's totally the opposite. Opaque is like full of color. Unless there's zero opacity. Then it's transparent. Huh? I bet you didn't know that. Fun fact for you. You're gonna learn something new every day, and you forget something every day. So, you're probably even for the day. Alright. Clearly, that was a mistake going in this room. Didn't gain anything from it, and I lost a lot. Yeah, that's right. I just said lost. Use kinesis module to pull down. I like how they just know that I have a kinesis module, and that's how you unlock shit. Anyway, we're overriding the lock door. I guess it's been activated, so uh, we're gonna head back out. The fact that the door closed makes it a little bit freakier because it seems like there's gonna be something out here, like this guy. Wow, this thing does a good amount of damage, doesn't it? Ooh, he just dropped a health pack. I saw that. It's nice. Okay, quickly reload if I have to. So that was a quick little overall override door, and we will continue to go through until we can get through to the B commons. Ooh, oh shit. I might have to use some air up in this bitch. Uh, we're just gonna go. Cause I am totes afraid that because I am not upgrading my air canister, I'm just gonna be a total failure. I like how I said we're just gonna go, but I'm totally gonna explore. I'd rather get shit. I'm just gonna run, 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 run. Oh shit. Not cool. Not cool, bro. Step back. Step back. Get around the corner so that guy can't hurt me. Um, where am I going? Sub-objective complete. Alright. Yeah. Run out the dough, please. Run out the dough. I have very few seconds in time. No. Ah, shit. Open this door. Okay, I'm gonna need some air. Oh shit, that was a large med pack. Oh god damn. Okay. Ah, oh, god, that was horrible. I didn't want to use that med pack either, which is not good. Um, please step off. I'm just gonna run through here. I don't want to deal with that tentacle guy. Hopefully he doesn't hit me on my way out. Dodge, dodge, dodge and weave. Alright. So that was uh, a poor performance of my skill. And it was not a good renditioning of how this game should be played. So we will just uh, ignore that, cut it out or something. Definitely not allowed to do that. That's what makes it fun. All right, grab some sweet ammo. Beautiful, I will always take ammo, especially if it's free. Might even take it if you make me pay for it. Or if you pay me to pick up ammo, that's like the ideal situation. So let's get that arrangement going. Where's my manager at? Alright, heading up the door. Um, uh, yeah, there's something behind me, it sounds like. Something gurgling. Gurgling, gurgling. Yeah. I just performed an abortion. It's probably illegal now. Or maybe it's totally illegal. It's illegal not to have an abortion. That would be tricky, huh? Population? Overpopulation? So we are still backtracking here. I... I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I guess it makes sense. At least it's fitting for this game, so I will get over it nonetheless. Uh, I don't like these fuckers. These guys are pain in my booty, and they should die when I shoot them. Like, I wouldn't mind it if they just died on one hit or something, or at least were dying consistently, but they're super inconsistent. It's like I shoot them like seven times and they just don't die. But maybe I'm just a horrible shot. Like how earlier I said that I was good aim, it's definitely like one of the things I'm worse at, I would think, in this game. I'm just horrible at aiming. And maybe it reflects my real life tendencies. Who knows, who knows. 
Um, nah. Don't need to save. I'm a boss. I haven't died yet at all, which is totally sweet. Gives me a little extra time to do a little victory dance. Alright, so there is a store down here, if I do remember correctly. We're gonna buy, uh, something. I don't know what I need to buy. So that was 25,000. That totally reminds me of the time that I watched a James Bond movie, and it was called Casino Royale. And he said, uh, bet 100,000. So, put that in your blue book and spank it or something. All right, I didn't buy anything there. That was a colossal waste of time. And uh, I'm horribly sorry for that tangent that I just went off. And maybe you can apologize to Bethany for me. So, we will shoot off this guy's arms because he deserves it and does not get to vote in the next election. And shit's coming down through the roof or going up true. So we're just going to leave. Zero G basketball, that actually sounds pretty sweet. How would you stop dunking though? Like... I mean, no one would ever shoot You would, because you would just lose the ball. It would have to be like bucket ball or something. Bucket ball, for those of you that don't know, super awesome thing that we do at my school here. It's like the guy floors, which are a little bit bereft in my opinion, um, but that's always actually a good thing. So let me read this real quick to ya. Yeah. All right, so step on the lighted platform and activate it to start the gamble. Jump to as many scoring platforms as possible. Oh, this is the rules. Like, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to play zero basketball or something. Like what? Entering zero gravity. Uh, I would sort of doubt it. Pick that up. Yeah. Um, so I can't do that, but I can jump like this. And let's go ahead and this guy seems to be good at zero G basketball. Shoot me already, bro. I'm afraid because there's multiple of these faggots. So I'm just gonna keep jumping until I can like see one of them. I have no idea where these assholes are. Come on, you're dead. And jump. Reload. Jump again. I think I'm pretty close to one now. Tentacles, go away. Ah. Uh, so I jumped away from an enemy into another enemy, which is definitely not the outcome I was hoping for. And I need to reload so that I can shoot these mofos. Yeah, put out them bitches. Uh-huh. I like it when you show me that covered part. Which is probably like a social thing for these guys. Social acceptance or like dominance or something. Where? It's like unacceptable to show your skills as a stripper or something. I don't know what I'm saying at all. It doesn't make any sense. So disregard that or I'll just give you a couple more pieces and you can put it together yourself. Um, yeah, they don't like it when they like show their bodies off. Or it's hot. I wonder if women like in Israel are like super, have super hot ankles. Is a Family Guy reference, if you didn't catch that. Go ahead and watch all the Family Guys and you'll understand. Um, am I supposed to do something in here? There's no mission. Or maybe I'm just going the wrong way completely. Inventory, no mission. <laughs> Sounds like someone's sabotaged. I gotta find the Singularity Core. Okay. So I feel like there should be like a basketball around here that I can dunk. Dunk it up in your baskets. Um, but maybe not. Unless I can shoot these guys in. No? I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. Clearly not. Okay. Um, definitely feeling a little bit lost here. So, yeah, scratch the back. That'll feel good. And let's just jump over here to keep things interesting, I suppose. Alright, so there's gotta be like a basketball or something. Oh, haha. <laughs> 
Got him. Nice. Okay. Oh shit. Um. Basketball, come here. Shoot. Go in. So I'm like super confused here. Am I supposed to do something or? Oh shit. All right, so the score is four. Um, five. So the green one gave me three points, but maybe it's because I jumped on platforms or something. I really am confused here. And why are there crowds cheering for me? It doesn't make any sense. So what happens if I jump to another platform and then shoot it? Can't do that. Okay. 63 seconds. I don't really want to do this for a whole hour. That's right. 63 seconds is one hour. I am uh, really good at math. I took like a advanced uh, pre-cal once. Got like a B plus. So, you know, take that to heart for you. 27.30. I don't get... I think it's like every time I score I get more time. Why am I still doing this? Jesus, this is stupid. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm not playing your stupid games. Alright, there's definitely like a basketball court squeaky noise, which I'm not so sure about. <laughs> but, whatever. I guess whatever adds a little bit of light entertainment to this game is fantastic. Because this game is totes freaky like this guy right here. Killing the mood. Like putting out the candles on the romantic lighting. Just horrible timing. Alright. So we are going to do a little more backtracking until we find this last key. And I think then we'll be able to fix something and do something. Um, so that's my insight. Good acumen, right? We will continue on no matter and do some serious hacking. Like I said, Isaac, you're a boss, but only sometimes. Definitely a little inconsistent. All right. I think we're heading up. But I'm not exactly sure. Funny thing about elevators and games is like you enter through one door and you always exit out the other one. Like you almost never exit through the same door that you entered and it's like a weird, are you really moving or is the level just loading while you're in the elevator? Mind blown, right? Yeah. So it's basically just like I'm opening this door and really it could be a whole nother level. Inception, bitch. So that guy is um, clearly the leader of this oppressive area government system thing. I kind of, I kind of slash really want to go back here. So whatever is back here, I'm going to attempt to move this stuff so that I can make my way through and pick up some line racks. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna have to move this back so that I can slide this over gah and this one over this is like that car game where you have to get traffic jam undone undid updid updo who did updid okay uh break this box please i feel like i wasn't actually supposed to go this way but this will work i think maybe it'll lead to something better holy shit my heart just jumped there, like, I don't know, you can't see it, but it definitely did. Uh... There will be no escape for you, my friend. You have been most resourceful up until now, but my creation is free. 
reborn in the fierce heat of life itself. Now it's time to play your part. Yeah, so that bitch just exploded her head. And let's just step the fuck back from this asshole. And uh, hopefully I can take off his arms. Beautiful. So I really don't want to come across anybody that like regrows. Because that is definitely my worst nightmare. And this guy is clearly regrowing. So we should just run. Go around some tight corners here. No way this big guy can stop us. Um, looks like we got another one. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games, bitch. So I'm gonna shoot off your arms because I don't want you here. And then let's close off this gate. Oh shit, that didn't do anything. Nope. Ah, come on, shut that. I don't want your asshole in here. Yeah, motherfucker. Now what, son? Oh shit, I'm definitely about to have to move this. Alright, so let's see if I can just do this without fucking everything else up. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so I should be able to do this well. Slide this over, and that should give me enough room to just go through without getting killed by that asshole back there. And we're gonna pick up whatever's in this box because we got a ton of time. Time is on my side. Even though there's hella bitches running around. Oh shit, that guy's still here. How did he get through? God damn it. Okay. Not cool, bro. Let's take care of the guys that are not immortal. And holy shit balls. Okay, run. Run, run, stasis, please. Come on, leg, leg, arm, arm. Nope, just, I'm just gonna run. Where do I have to go? Around this door? Through the door, please? Please tell me it's through the door. I really, I don't think I picked up those credits, but it's not important right now. God damn it. Oh, fuck. Where's this tentacle guy? He needs to die. Shit. Get off. Get off. Get off my fucking back, you cunt. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, we picked up whatever that was. Now, is there like a cryo engine or like what's the dizzle here? Because I defs need to take care of this asshole somehow. Please be like a cryo engine somewhere. Where's this like ice stasis shit that's going down? Because I certainly need to kill this motherfucker. I don't know what the deal is here. Alright, so we're going to keep running. I'm going to switch weapons here. Okay. I might have to walk. Oh shit, okay. Alright. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. That's not the plan. Come on, open this door. Please, bitch. Yes. Reload. Don't let this asshole in this door. Thank you. Now, shh. Ah, get him! I can't hear you, woman. Speak up. Um. Jesus, stop it! Holy God! Save quick. Hopefully, I don't get attacked while I'm saving. Beautiful. It does pause the game. I wasn't sure about that. It was going to freak me out just a tad. Um, I don't think we're gonna die here. I just wanted to do that just in case that these assholes come back and taunt me for the rest of my nightmares while I quickly actually let's just go ahead oh shit um, yeah so we just went up the elevator and used a shit ton of health but we should be okay because I don't have full yet so I didn't like waste anything which is always a big deal for me anyway let's uh, yeah we might as well see like I went through that door and then did the opposite thing went in one door and then came out the other. I don't know. I guess it's just mind-blowing to me only. But maybe I'm just weird that way. So I feel like I should not be in the store right now because I feel like I'm about to get attacked from the butthole. Quit. Yep. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't take damage there. 
I am six cents in this shit out the butthole. Okay. Yeah. I don't want you alive. Please die. Hopefully that got him. Figure out what the true meaning in life was, and right now is to die because you're a piece of garbage and I don't have any ammo. What the hell? Stop. Oh god. Come on, yeah. Yeah! You just got schooled. Educated. Sort of. I taught you. Gave you a little something to think about at night. Alright, so we're gonna sell the Ruby Semiconductor. Because we can. <sighs> this is worse than the map in Mass Effect when I always press B and it would just exit instead of pressing X to zoom out. Holy God. Okay. I unlocked something, but we're just gonna buy shit from the ammo again. Big spender. I will take it. And let's buy some line racks because I have a shit ton of money also. And... Might as well buy a couple medium med packs. And I'll buy a medium air can just in case. And that should be good for now. Uh, reload quickly and then we're going to head up this elevator. I would assume is the right way to go. Come on. No? Down? No, okay, good. I was like, I'm pretty sure we were supposed to go that way, but... Maybe not. Alright, so I think this is the way to go. Yeah, looks like it. We're gonna head on in through here, and then we're gonna do a little more cutscening, it looks like, so... Shut up, guys. Stop talking. You made it! Oh, thank God you made it! I've been following your progress. I know you want to repair the executive shuttle and leave this place, but... Escape is impossible at this point. The... Shuttle shock point drive is destroyed. No, 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 no. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. At first, I lost hope. I, I tried to scuttle the ship, sabotage the systems. But Amelia, oh, she changed things. The church, they see the market is divine. But they don't know what's happened here, what's been released. Look, 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 look. That is what we found in the core of the planet. Mercer calls it the hive mind. It's the source, controlling the necromorphs telepathically. We were so stupid! Amelia, she knew, she knew it could be stopped by returning the marker to the planet. The marker was containing it within the planet. Return the marker and seal the hive mind. Please. I'm sorry, Amelia. I bear much of the responsibility for this tragedy. Now, I must take responsibility for ending it. I told for my sins. But you can help me. If you repair the shuttle and bring the marker back on board, Okay, I really want to know, first of all, what this is. Second of all, he brought up that big, fat-ass necromorph, and I just, I knew that there was going to be another boss, and I was like, I bet you I'm going to have to kill it, but he did say we can seal it off instead of kill it, which is definitely awesome, because it means that I don't have to kill it, I just have to fuck. Um... Okay, yeah, I don't know what that gun does, so we're just gonna quickly switch to this so we can kill these little fuckers and then reload before going back out into the depths here where we shall kill Boomer number two. And hopefully this guy doesn't, like, start crawling at us because I don't like that aspect of this enemy. They're, like, super crawly and up in the grills. Like a rapper with a lot of excess money who doesn't know what to do with it. Alright, so we just picked up another med kit, which is totes sweet. Alright, so we still got two more, which I'm not a fan of. Especially since one of all these fat guys is like really mobile. He's like Tom Hardy from Bane. He's just incredibly big. 
but still incredibly like strong and like and agile, or whatever. Um. Okay, yeah, get the fuck off, please. I'm just gonna fight through these guys, even though it's probably not the way to go. That's what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, that guy definitely has claws still. Come on. Do you really think you're gonna be able to kill me? No, you don't. So why are you even trying, bro? I don't know. I don't know why you're trying. Go see a therapist. Be like Kanye West. Cry about your mom on stage. Ooh. And then get over it in like two seconds and then make a ton of money. So I'm just gonna skip all these side doors pretty much, I think. Actually, I don't know. I'm not. I lied. Total liar. Fat, fat liar. If it were true, my pants would not be so hot right now. Um, but they are burning. Alright. Cock! I don't, I don't have any response to that other than cock. And that's probably not a good response to have to just like random shit, but that is how I was raised to say cock towards random shit. Anyway, we shall continue through. Executive Shuttle Bay, that sounds proper or improper, or not improper, important. God, I'm terrible with my word jumbling today. I need to do my crossword and my Sudoku and my math problems. Brain warm up, the brain tuner. So we are in the executive bay here. I feel like I should be wearing a suit. I'm like wool, not metal. Cause I am sort of wearing a suit, I suppose. <laughs> All right, so we got a little bit of ammo here. I'm gonna reload for this gun because I do like having a little bit higher rate of fire for this kind of thing. And we are going to continue on through. Nothing in here, but I do want to explore just in case there's a power node or some sweet ammo -ness. And what does this do? Shuttle control offline. Nav cards required. I feel like I have nav cards. Isn't that what that whole mission was about? Maybe I'm going to have to come back here and have nav cards with me. So we're supposed to go in there. Let's just run over here right quick discover that there's some creepy noise going on and get freaked out and run back. That's how I'm going to do that. That's how that went down. We're in a serious shuttle, so... Objective complete. What objective are we on? Wait there for me. I'm on my way. Objective added. Test fire the shuttle engines. Should, uh, I should test fire the engines to be sure. Before Kine gets here. I can't, okay, so I think that is where we were just a second ago. Um, yeah, okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and press this fat button over here and see what the heck goes down uh, upon pressure. Of course, necromorphs come into play here. And that did not do shit, so we're gonna take off your leg, take off your arm, take off your hats. Take off your ass, face, neck, and back. And then I'm gonna just die. So that's pretty much how this is about to go down. Hopefully, I can. Shit! Get a health pack going, please. No, I don't want you to exit the menu. God damn. Super obnoxious. Holy god. Stop it. Okay. So now I got some serious shooting going on. Those guys should be dead. Quickly, before I get into more combat from these assholes over here, just pick up some ammo, health, credits, all of the above. And I don't think these guys can die. Which is an issue. What do you say? Yep, I'm getting attacked from both those back in the front. Um, so this guy can die. So let's go ahead and just riddle him full of bullets. As well as this asshole over here. Hopefully these guys are giving us ammo, which they're not, which is super frustrating. And we are supposed to go back into here. Maybe I'm supposed to test fire once this guy has um, become an enemy of mine or something. Oh, nope, I'm just supposed to wait. Why are these guys like freaking like chimpanzees just like running around, getting into shenanigans, totes not cool. Oh. Oh no, I thought I was supposed to press that too. Okay, can these guys come through the doors? I don't think so. 
Maybe I'm supposed to just use this as like an ultimate weapon against these assholes over here that are, I guess, running away, which I'm not. Oh shit, no, he's just coming in here. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to, what I'm supposed to do is get him out here and then basically get him to come into this area and then stasis him and then test fire Misty or Cannon. So that's what I'm going to try and do at least this time. I am learning. You can tell that I'm learning a little bit. I'm like semi-smart at least. Smart enough to realize that this guy is a douchebag and can climb through any vent given the situation. We're going to go ahead and do this, stasis, and then run this way. Hopefully that'll give him time to walk a little bit over this way, but not enough to escape the wrath of my vent. No. God damn it. He didn't go in this way. He went in the goddamn wrong way. Shit. Get me out of here. I need to do that again. I need him to be like on the bridge, literally. Otherwise, this just isn't gonna work. Come on, through the stupid vent. Now, if he just surprises me, that could be bad. So let's go ahead and do this. And stasis. Okay, hopefully this will work. Come on, run, Isaac, run. Run, run, run. How we doing? Still all right? Yeah, let's test fire that bitch. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Ah, what the hell? This is ridiculous. Don't. This is definitely what I'm supposed to do, and it's way too hard. Come on out the vent. No. Yes. So he got past it a little bit, so he needs to be just a little bit further. So like there. No. Run, you asshole. Okay, maybe if I shoot off his limbs and shit. I like how I didn't think about that before. But that's what I'm going to do now. Hopefully he doesn't regain his limbs that quickly. This should work. Stand up, asshole. Stand the fuck up. Burn, motherfucker. Yeah. Suck on my cockiness. Okay, so please let that guy be coming. He should be here any second now. Docking clamps released. Um yes, this will work. There's still time to make things right. The shuttle needs to be released before launch. The control platform there. I need you to guide the undocking procedure while I start the shuttle's engines. This will make us home again. Hurry! I'll take the shuttle up to the flight deck where the marker is being held. Alright, so I guess we're going to be sending him off to safety, and it seems like he's going to be an asshole about this shit. And basically just ditch us. So that's not cool. But we will do as he says anyway, because we have no choice, rather. So... I'm en route to the flight deck. Meet me there, and we can load the marker on board. Okay, I guess he's not totally ditching us. So now we are going to head on back, and... So yeah, he's like medium trusted, kind of like the new guy of the group where he's like, he's pretty funny, but you're not really sure if he's just like putting on a front just to get into the group and then he's going to be like a complete asshole and just like rub your back the wrong way or the right way and it's just not going to be uncomfortable for both of you. So you keep that little test on him just in case. No need to be frightened. No reason to fight. Many have gone before us, and now it's time for us to take the voyage together. Transcend death. Let the future take its course. Join me as I gaze upon the face of God. Yeah. I kind of saw that coming. He sacrificed himself towards his um, cause, and that is like the telltale sign of mad scientist, where he's like willing to sacrifice humans for like a greater good that he believes is like should be better than than humans, which I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that, and I think that might be him even. 
So we're gonna kill that asshole. And hopefully he didn't get a hold of him. Beautiful. So we are going to, I think, just leave. I shouldn't need to save, because I think we're just going back to the tram station at this point. Um, and it should just be a quick little walk. A little brisk walk in the park, or in the deserted ship. You know, pretty much the same thing. Anyway, we'll get on this tram here, and that should be the end of the mission. Keeper of the faith, so thank you guys for keeping faith in me and sticking through to the 10th episode. Maybe this is the first one you've watched. If so, uh, Dead Space 3 is coming out very soon, and that should be coming out on the day that this comes out too, so I'll put a link in uh, everywhere, and you'll have to click on it, basically. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you around next time.